I know. But here's the thing with you, and, and I say this um, openly. I don't. You're literally one of the funniest f- people I've ever seen. He does seen say my, that a lot. Know, I've ever seen In fact, seen a lot on life. this podcast. Is yeah, you, you. I mean, that's so nice. Oh, Thank mm-hmm. you. A legitimately talented. Like, you know, when you watch certain people, even stand ups, they go, you go, the writing's good. Or, um, you know, but sometimes I'll look at somebody and go, wow, that person is legitimately talented. You know, I don't throw that around a lot, but that's one. Do you have a positive memory of Bobby or was it just the drug lace debauchery? <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> I want to know what he was like in his 30s because I only know okay. him in his 40s and he seems a little bit more settled. And I, I have this sick curiosity for how... I wonder and I imagine oh. if I would have gotten along with him at that age. Bobby was lovely. <laughs> we would sit outside the building. <laughs> yeah. We would sit outside the building, like just uh, between whatever, mm-hmm. rehearsals or whatever, and uh, have a cigarette. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, and just sit down there. And we would just have life conversations. Mm-hmm. You know, I would, I remember uh, you feeling insecure and worried about it and mm-hmm. talking to you and telling you it's going to be all right. You know, I remember a time just before stepping out onto stage at one of the live shows and you were uh, backstage with me and you were freaking out, like right right behind the door we were about to enter, mm. you know, and and I was just, I remember that moment very vividly, you mm. know, that I, I was just like, Bobby, you lucky son of a bitch, you get to go out there and play in front of these people with me. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, let's just go out and have fun. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Right. That's not that's not hard. That's that's just abandon yourself to what's good for you. Mm-hmm. You know. So we had a we had a lot of conversations. We yeah. had a lot of really sweet conversations. You know, it's like I, it isn't all the crazy that, you know, I let in with. Yeah. It wasn't it really wasn't that. Yeah. You know, um, no, we've had you no know, dinners and you know yeah. and all that. We we used to go after lives. We used to go to that one French place on Las Palmas. Yeah. What was that place called? La Poubelle. Pou- no, oh, La not Pou- something Pou- like that. Was it La Poubelle? No, Franklin. Franklin. Yeah. No, there was one over there that we used to go oh, yeah. every fr- fr- every I can't every, every the live. Name of it. But it was, that was cool. fun. And then um yeah. and then everyone would go like you know all the yeah. writers and producers and oh, also nice. some you know just friends, family, whatever. Yeah. It was a fun night, but um. This one, it's, here's how I how why I can say that though is because, you know, when you're sitting there, and you're watching like her play Lorraine or whatever, mm-hmm. and then they do a pass where it's like all improvised or do what you want to do, yeah, and it's just how crazy like, so cool. just in terms of adding information that quickly, it, you know, in in a live environment with mm-hmm. the cameras on, and you're sitting there Indian style going. <laughs> Wow, I've never, you know what I mean? I didn't grow up with yeah. sketch, you know? But you're learning so fast and you're trying to absorb everything, right? And then it's just like watching someone like that, you go, holy fuck, like that was insane. You know, like Keegan would do that too. Keegan Keys would do Coach Hines and then do a take where he just, the whole thing is completely and utterly different. Mm-hmm. But yeah. also, like somebody had written it, yeah. or like it took a week and wrote it. Yeah. But there wasn't. It was just all improvised, and you, you just kind of go, "Oh fuck, I, I should go home. <laughs> <laughs> I what am I doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. But anyway, um, and then so when she was doing Dream Corps, that was one of the say they try to sell me right because I know Nick. Nick's done this podcast before. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, Mo, Mo did our show. <laughs> so I did it. And then when I was on doing it and they go, we're doing another episode in a week and Mo will be here. I go, write me into it. I wasn't supposed to be in it. And I go, write me into that thing. That's crazy. And they go, you want to come back? I go, yeah. You don't have to give me lines. I'll just show up. <laughs> and so I came just to were, work with you. You were, uh, you were my glitter that day. You're glitter. You're glitter. You're glitter. <laughs> But really, you were my glitter You're that my, day. Yeah, Do you know th- what I mean? Why? Uh, well, b- 
because <laughs> so boy, angry. needy. Why am I your glitter? So needy. Nothing that hasn't changed. <laughs> um, here we go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, pick him up off the floor. Here we go, Bobby. Yeah. Um, 